What do growing demand products like electric vehicles and batteries have in common? Lithium. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a lithium manufacturer known as Levet Corporation and the stock itself and whether or not I think it's a buy. The company itself provides a variety of lithium compounds, whether that's energy storage or batteries for electric vehicles, polymers, grease, you name it. They're serving a lot of different markets. And while the company is headquartered in Philadelphia, they do have global reach as they have offices and manufacturing facilities pretty much across the world. As for the stock itself, it's currently trading around $24.86 and has a market cap of $4 billion, so a nice little mid-cap company. And since last year, they have risen a decent amount in stock price, September 21st. We're talking about $8 to 24 So it has had a bit of a run-up since the last part of last year. So how does the macro view look for lithium? Well, it looks pretty good. Because that increase in demand for products that use lithium, the expected supply to be produced for lithium is expected to grow through 2030. So in 2020, according to fastmarkets.com, the production of lithium was around 345,000 tons, whereas in 2030, it's expected to be about 2 million. And when we look at the supply and demand balance, more sites have to come online to manufacture lithium by 2026. Otherwise, they may run into kind of demand supply issues. But for now, the supply demand looks relatively okay. But as time goes on and the demand increases for these products, well, there's going to need to be more lithium produced. So what does this mean to Levent Corporation? It means they better expand their capacity because the demand is coming in the future. So they want to be able to increase their production abilities to meet that demand. And they did exactly that with an equity raise in order to build out that capacity. So back on June 10th, they sold around 13 million shares of common stock in order to raise around over $200 million in order to expand their lithium capacity and really grow the business. And according to the quarter two earnings report, that increased capacity won't happen till the end of 2022 or throughout the year of 2023, but it will add a total of 25,000 metric tons to the capacity. And if you're wondering what the price of lithium carbonate is right now, well, it's around 92,500 yuan, which is around $14,000 per ton. So if we use a rough estimate, that's around $360 million per year in increased revenue if the prices stay the same. So not too shabby. Especially when you look at the trailing 12 months and you see that their total revenue was around $348 million. Speaking of financials, let's actually talk about them. So when we look at the trailing 12 months and on that $340 $48 million of revenue, the company actually lost $11 million. One thing that was a bit concerning for me was that if I looked at past financials, their gross profit margins were much higher in the past, being in the 40%, whereas now it's at 14. So they're keeping less money after you factor in cost of revenues. And so on the same revenue or similar revenue to 2018, they're actually losing money instead of making money. Definitely a concern because at the end of the day, we want to invest in companies that are making higher profits over time. So hopefully the company can get back to previous profit margins going forward. Now, in terms of outlook, the company provided 370 to 390 million dollars for full year, and then an adjusted EBITDA of around 55 to 70 million. So, looking at the financials, it does seem like this stock is more of a growth play than something like a typical mining company that's already profitable, and it's more of a cyclical stock that kind of goes through boom and bust cycles. But for this one, with the increase in demand for lithium, I think the hope is that the revenue increases fast than the cost themselves and the company can turn a higher profit with much higher revenues in the future. So I did a price target as well as a discount cash flow model to come up with what I think is the fair value. So I went ahead and factored in that increase in capacity in order to project out higher revenues going forward and then the assumption that operating margins would increase over time to a point that was seen in prior years as well as you know keeping things like capex kind of the same as a percentage of revenue. And I come up with a projected fair value of around $12.21 per share. And this includes both the discount cash flow kind of valuation, as well as using something like a historical price to sales multiple of seven. So this kind of strips out the whole profitability thing. And that would put it more around $15 per share. As of this video, it's trading around upper 24s. So in my opinion, the stock itself is a little bit overvalued. I think part of the reason that this stock may be 
trading at a higher multiple or a higher valuation it has to do with the whole narrative investing. So lithium demand is supposed to increase over time. So people may take more risk or faith-based investing with the stock versus something else that doesn't have that growing narrative. For me, the growth is kind of already priced into the stock and I see more downside if something like the price goes down of lithium or if they have delays to their production capacity increases. So both of those things could hurt the stock. In terms of opportunities, I really only see it with the price. So if we have a doubling in price back to around the 2018 prices, well then maybe the stock is actually undervalued. But for me, I don't do valuations based on theoretical price increases because I think the price of lithium is much harder to predict because that's you know, due to the supply and demand. And I really can't put my finger on an exact target or a doubling of the price of a commodity. That's just hard to call out. So overall, I would pass on the stock as I think it's pricing in that growth already. Shout out to my patrons who suggested me doing a review on the stock. This is part of the monthly stock pick where patrons submit stocks, they vote on the stocks that were submitted. And this was the one that won for August. If you want to participate, check out the Patreon in the description below. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to Main Street Wolf. We talk investing, stock options, cryptocurrency, anything to do with money. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.